This is a 2009 Caravan, but it's having some electrical issues. And occasionally the front windows don't work. When you shut it off, it keeps running. Uh, the clamps have to be undone here. They're 10 Can millimeter. You don't have to take these all the way out. The same as that, you just have to loosen those clamps. Occasionally there's some lights on the dash that just start flashing. So I think it might be this here. This is a fuse block, but it's also a TIPM totally integrated power train control module. So this is actually the computer built into the side of this here. And I just happened to get this one today on fluke by chance and I'm going to give it a try. This one is previously enjoyed, but it seems to be pretty clean in there. The terminals look good and they're actually not very difficult. There's some plugs here and they're not very difficult to plug in or unplug. And there's no bolts holding it in, so it literally unclips. There's only one nut and it's a 13 millimeter to hold on the main power wire right here. And this is actually the computer built into this side here, power train control module. And this is the fuse block, but for some reason they're totally integrated. This is actually easily removable. This lid, it just snaps on. Oof, the hinges open sort of, they snap on. This power wire has to come off, but it's a good idea to disconnect your battery first. There's these clips here and they just push sideways and that unlatches each post. And there's four posts. And basically you're just gonna unlatch like two at a time and pull up and hold it up so it doesn't fall on the latch again. And try to get all four straight up. It's a little bit tricky, but it's not impossible. This is a 13 millimeter in my case. This is a 2009 Grand Caravan with a 3.3 liter. It's actually the 25th anniversary edition. And this is also from a 2009 Caravan with a 3.3 liter. So this is from the same vehicle. And this is a 13 millimeter. It's not gonna be a big deal, but you definitely wanna have your battery disconnected because this would normally be a live wire. So these are interesting connections here. I'm just holding it up and it's a three stage. So the red one is a lock. It has to be pulled back. Here's my screwdriver or whatever you got. So this red thing here pops out like that. There's a green tab down here that you can press on. And then this lever here will lift up like that. And the green plug will pull off like that. I'm trying to do the best I can without my tripod here. But I'm just leaning the camera up against the car. These ones have a button on top, which is hard to see, but you can feel it. And then a lever. But I think they're a little bit easier. So there's a button on the back. You just push that button and then it'll allow the lever to flip. There's a button, I think that's it there. And the lever catches on that and it won't it won't flip unless you push down on it. So those ones are a little bit easier, those two. And then there's three here. This one you pull the red tab back 
and then you push a button and it'll unplug you might have to wiggle it a little bit wiggle it by the plug not by the wires and this one is a two stage with a lever two stage with a lever I just put wheel spacers on this one yesterday inch and a half I undid this wire I only had the ground undone but this just gives me more wiggle room to get at some of those plugs so I did go ahead and undo both so what I'm gonna do is just put them side by side and then uh, also find out which fuses I need and where they need to go so I'll just take this one and move it over here and take this one and move it over here Uh, I think it was changed once previously I'm not sure so here's the one I got today and I'm gonna try it I got the battery hooked up okay I got the TIPM or uh, fuse box or computer or whatever you want to call it I got it replaced and and it runs So it's running now. The low tire indicator is flashing, but I believe it was always, that light was always on. The ABS light was on, but uh, I reset it. I left the key on for a few seconds on run. And I read that if you close the hood and leave the key on for 15 seconds, it'll the computer will like take the new information from the body control module or whatever. So that worked and I took it for a quick little drive and now the ABS light and everything has gone back out and it runs. So previously you would shut it off and it would keep running and it seems to be, everything seems to be working now, but otherwise it's running. And I haven't experienced any weird flashing lights or any of the weird issues that it was having previously. I think it took a minute to reset the computer, but it seems to be running and working now. So the other weird thing it was doing, it would drain the battery. So maybe I'll leave the battery hooked up and uh, hopefully it doesn't die because that would suck. But, I don't know, it seems to run, so that's always good. Put wheel spacers on this one yesterday. On this one. So it's an inch and a half spacers, three inches total, three inches wider total. Okay, 2009 Grand Caravan, 3.3 liter. I think 3.8 might be the same, same process. So I need to change the TIPM or the fuse box or the computer, whatever you want to call it. It's a totally integrated module which is both fuse box and computer. So I'm actually running into a weird issue where you shut the vehicle off and it keeps running. And this appears to be a common problem, this module on these vehicles, but it can cause a multitude of issues from the fuel pump staying running to the vehicle staying running, apparently. So to remove it is not gonna be difficult. I just removed the lid remove the battery and there's one nut here and I think the rest you can do by hand it might help to have a screwdriver handy for taking some of the clips but this is uh, the main power point it's a 13 millimeter here 
so that comes off pretty easy 